If you want to quickly learn to run Blast on your PC, then you are at the right place. So the first step is downloading and installing the Blast program. Go to NCBI Blast download page and click on download Blast executables. It will take you to a page where you see different options to download the file. If you have Windows 64 on your PC, you can click to download this exe file. Now install the program. By default it gets installed to C drive under program files folder. Open the command prompt and run as administrator. Once command prompt open, you locate the bin folder by typing this. Using blastx-h, you check if the program is running correctly or not. Next step is creating a Blast database. This database is a custom database which you can use to search similarity for your query sequence. For this you need a file containing sequence in the FASTA format and copy all these files in the bin folder. Again go to command prompt and run as administrator. Use make blast db command. IN shows input file whose database needs to be created. In this case db.fa. db type shows what kind of database it is. In our case we have protein sequences therefore we are creating a protein database by typing prot. Dash out tells by what name you want to create the database and hit enter. The command runs successfully and it took around 13 seconds and you can see around 133,000 sequences have been added in the database. You can check three different files have been created which are the database files. Till here we have completed Blast installation and database creation. Coming on doing the first Blast P program. It is for protein protein blast. Dash query after which you write the name of your query file which contain the faster formatted sequences dash db after which you type the database name dash out after which you type the name of your output file out fmt6 tells that it is a tabular format and e value is set to 10 to the power minus 5 maximum number of target sequences are set to 1 so that you can get only one top hit. You see the run has been completed. Here the results are shown in the text file. You can also export it into the excel file.